Good morning. Today we are going to learn and practice with the Google Meet how we can use the Meet for teaching for conferences, webinars, sharing screens and contents etc. So let me go to Google Meet. This is Meet icon. We can download it from the Play Store and install it. Even we can directly log in online. So this is Meet icon. Google Meet. Click Meet icon and when we click it for the mobile users, two options are there, new meeting and meeting code. So new meeting is for the host who has to start the meeting or organize the meeting, the conference, the webinar, etc. And when the meeting is started, when we click here, the code is generated and that, is, that code is to be shared with the participants through WhatsApp, email or other options. So there are two buttons at the bottom. One is audio and one is video. So audio and video options are there. We can switch it off or on. We can even for audio button, we can do the same. So let me see. These are three lines. On the left side, the line shows settings. More features are available if we use the same on the laptop. So what are other options there? Let me start new meeting. Code is before us. Share this code. So different screens are there. Options are there. Google Classroom, WhatsApp, etc. So for teaching purpose, we can directly share it to the Google Classroom so that learners can come and attend the class with the proper scheduling for the laptop users we have to click the present button for presentation then click tab entire screen or application window if you want to show some ppt or some other contents we have to keep that file open for example here two slides ppts and we can click the application window slide will be presented to the audience or the attendees if left we can rejoin the meeting because meeting is still on until and unless end button is not clicked Checking all this, we can start sharing our screen. Go for presentation. Mobile users can use marker and whiteboard by switching the camera from front to back and focus the camera towards the board. Attendees, learners can see what the teacher is doing. Watch all activities through board and marker if the focus is proper. The 
different screen settings can be there. Settings like full screen, seating arrangement, grid type, side view, etc. We can opt for all these options. So this is how the platform can be used for the teaching purpose. Once connected, different settings appear and they can be changed accordingly. Chatting option is there. You can see who is participating. We can even recording option is there. Even we can go for recording. We can add participants and different option can be availed. So we have to practice and just learn, learn and practice. Thank you. Thank you all.